Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to model a U-shape um, stairs with wires. So maybe something like this one. Okay. Okay. Um, go to Revit. Uh, so this is the project um, in the floor plan, and go architecture stairs, and then here. So is a U-shape winder stair. So if I if select that one and I click. Uh, that's it. No, nah, of course not. Um, so the, the the trends are quite uh, interesting here. So it's not parallel, and uh, somehow you can you can adjust you can adjust it. Uh, to, but uh, I find it quite hard to. Um, I'm not. Sh to be honest, I don't know how to adjust these two because what we really need is maybe just you know. All the way to the, we will have one, two, three, four at the end, just like landing the shape of landing and then create, uh, separate it, become four uh, treads. So I don't know how to do it. So because apparently if, if you change that to eight, it tells me uh, no, I can't do that. So um, I have to give up this. This so I'm going to model it uh, by sketch. Okay, so here go back to this menu. So this one, so create sketch. Okay, so click this one. So now we need to manually uh, draw all the line of these stairs. And so I will start with riser. Okay, instead of boundary, I'll start with wider. So first, I'm going to just find the you know the um, where the winder is. So for example, I'm going to model it as a 1.2 meter um, stairs, and here is actually where you know at this corner, this a uh, landing area. So not landing area, but that corner is. So see, uh, imagine this is a 44 degree, right? And then this go up uh, 1200, and of course I can just mirror this mm. So now I can uh, start to copy this. So a cc. So for each um, trace, for example, uh, hang on, constraint multiple, yep, yeah, 270 h. So I'll just copy some. Okay, so uh, pretend that's enough. Now we can uh, do the boundaries. Okay, so click on boundary. So here to roughly here, because we're going to trim it. The top one, this side, and the one in the middle. So we only need one. Okay, just one. And trim, 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 trim. And then we need a stair part. So start from this middle to this middle, from this middle to this middle, from this middle to this middle, and finish. So um, doesn't look right. Finish. Okay. So now let's have a look. So go to 3D view. Not, not too bad. So let me just delete this um, railing. The railing is a bit funny. Maybe I can delete this part and then so I can only have that. And then, mm, so that's pretty much look like this one now. But the only issue is um, when I try to place a railing on this side and this side, that will be an issue. So let me try. So a uh, railing. Uh, apparently you can't use this one. You can't use this one, and um, we'll use a sketch. So let me pick this edge, and also I'll pick this edge and the trim it, and the delete this one. So and finish, and pick your host, pick this one. So this is okay, right? And then if I Control C, and paste in the same place and there's no way I can place it up here 
So I know there's two here. I can maybe reset or um, pick new host. I just can't get this up there. So what we can do is I have to separate, separate the so now there's no gap between these um, threads. So go back to ground floor. Okay, so edit stairs and select this stairs again, edit sketch. So now what we need to do is we need to move all this a little bit, you know, away from on left side. So um, so let me do it uh, all first because there's only one boundary in the middle. So I'm going to copy it. Uh, maybe let's say 100. The gap is 100. And then I'll just move this and this and uh, to the right for uh, by 100. Okay, so now let's just fix this train, move this to this end, and maybe I'll just move this in the middle. Okay, so 50. And then, um, and, and also you need to have a look. So see this trend this riser line so this one so we need to adjust them to stop at the boundary okay and same here because now this edge become you need a boundary for this edge okay so you need to go boundary so see the green line let me try tl oh that's too thick Maybe I'll change the scale a little bit. Um, 50. Okay, so now boundary, boundary, see all the way. So from here to here, and the stop at the top, the top uh, uh, treads and the, the 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 this the lower treads. So and then boundary, 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 and all good. So it should be okay. So finish. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, Oh, this is a little bit funny here, but let's just ignore it for now. So, looks all good, right? And then we can just place railing, place on stairs, click, click. So you will see, we'll, we'll create two separate railing. So I think this is quite good. Okay, so that's it. So this railing, oh sorry, this stairs, U-shaped stairs with winder not the revit style not this see this one this one's the revit style auto disk revit style but more hours are more like something like this and this okay so that's it um thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye